So today we're going to render a partial public space plaza landscape plan. Uh, materials are going to be wood, some type of accent paper. This could be a planting leave out, a tree, water feature, water feature, water feature, water feature, and another leave out of existing trees and turf, a couple of seat walls. Uh, interior space could be a lagoon, kind of reminiscent. So I'm going to get started with the base color, which would be this Ecru color, or buff, or tan, that color. I'm going to color the base of the wood. Then I'm going to come in with the second color, which is uh, kind of a tannish reddish brown. Uh, and then I'm going to put that color as a base over. Then I'm going to add the third color, which is just a little bit darker than the color I just applied. After this is dried, I'm going to add some blue, maybe really a light blue to kind of Going back the orange a little bit. Next, I'm going to do the turf area. I'm going to use this uh, sea green color. I'm going to come in and kind of darken some of the areas. And I'm going to blend those darker areas with the first one. I'm going to let this dry. Next, I'm going to do the accent paper band. I'm going to use Epcot Ice. Next, I'm going to use my parallel bar and do some texture lines inside the uh, Paper band. After that's dried, I'll do some vertical texture as well in the paper accent. <clears throat> After the accents are dried, I'm going to add some purple to that band. Next, I'm going to do the trees in the plaza area. I'm going to start with a base color, it's kind of a light yellow green. When I apply the second coat, I'm going to go about halfway up the tree. Once that's dried, I'm going to apply a darker green along the lower quadrant of the tree. And 
And then I'm going to take a really dark green and apply it just along the bottom side. Next, I'm going to do the water feature. I'm going to color the area with this uh, blue green. It's kind of a light minty green. And then while it's still wet, I'm going to add some kind of a purplish blue. Then an even darker purplish blue. And then I'm going to sketch in the shadow. take a minute and let that dry. Then after this is dry, I'm going to add some more blue-greens, a little bit darker tone than the first pass. And I'll allow that to dry. After it's dry, I'm going to take my opaque white pen and uh, add some agitation where the water might be bubbling or hitting the surface of the pool. Next I'm going to do the existing trees. I'm going to take a yellow green, uh, just a regular green green midtown, and then a dark green. And I'm going to stipple leaves in. Take a medium green and do the same thing, but I'm going to hold the chisel with a marker at a different angle. So I'm going to color the people in, and I've picked a dark greenish, bluish green color, and I'm going to pick random ones to color in. And I've got this uh, kind of a reddish orange color. And I'm going to let that dry, and next we'll move to the shadows. I'm going to use an indigo blue color pencil to do the shadows. First, I'm going to do the people. I'm going to use my 45 triangle to kind of gauge the angle at which the shadow might be. Next, I'm going to do the interior edge of the pool. I'm doing a shadow line that's about two pencil widths. Next, I'm going to do these seat walls. I'm going to sketch in what was created.
Next, I'm going to sketch in the shadows of the tree. Use a 45 degree stroke. I'm going to draw a shadow line on the edge of this gradient. I'm going to sketch in the shadow of these larger trees. Shadows on the uh, those little walls at the bottom. 